In this video lesson, we're going to wrap up our work creating the classic synth riff for Usher's Yeah. So we'll jump right in here on the riff, and then we'll get to the riff doubler. So right there is our track. You can see I've got the, all the other tracks muted. Let's bring up Reason. Just click on our plugin right there. There it goes. And there I've got my starting point. All right. Now, before I go any further, if you're ever kind of just, you've been working on this for a while and you're going, oh man, I'm just not getting anywhere and I'd really like to get a fresh start. You can go back to the original source folder that I've got here that you'll get for your homework and you can just go ahead and here's the riff starter patch. That's where, you know, that's where you're starting from. That's what I've created for you. So that's what you'll be hearing when you first start. And you can just go ahead and drag that over reason and let go and it will just reload all those settings for you so that's really nice to know about there okay so just letting you let you know about that one all right okay let's go ahead and uh, start our programming here so let's hear what we've got okay there's the riff we can hear that all right so first off it's not in the correct octave so let's put it in the correct octave okay that sounds better there Let's give it a brighter waveform. Let's go to Sawtooth Wave. Good. Let's see if we can fatten that up a little. Let's double it. All right. Put that in the correct octave. All right, good. Let's open up the filter. Maybe not the right filter type. Let's try high pass. Nope. Notch. Yeah. Maybe. How about low pass? Yeah, let's go with low pass 12 and see how that works, okay? All right. Let's go ahead now <coughs> and do a little bit of detuning to fatten that up and you can really start to hear it take shape. Let's go and plus eight and minus eight each way. Okay. All right. Next, the attack and decay doesn't sound right. So I'm going to come down to my amp envelope down here and I'm going to lower the attack. Well, better. The decay seems awfully, awfully short. There, right about 80. That seems to work well there. Let's take a little bit of point off the front of the attack. Just right up to four there. Decay. Yeah, right about 40 seems to be pretty good. No changes down here in velocity. Nothing with the LFOs. Nothing with the mod envelope here. So I'm looking pretty good so far. The last thing I need to do is I need to come over here to my main area here. And there I've got something called Portamento and I've also got Polyphony. Now with Polyphony here, for this particular patch, I'm only playing one note at a time, no chords. So I'm going to put my Polyphony down to one. And the, reason I'm, the other reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to use this feature called Portamento, also sometimes called Glide, where the notes will glide from note to note. And I don't want two notes simultaneously sounding or two notes, more than one note gliding at the same time. So this way with polyphony, I've only got one note gliding to another note. All right. So no chance of, of overlaps or anything like that. Okay. So watch, I'm going to put it back in play here. Watch what happens when I, or listen what happens when I start dialing up the portamental or glide feature. They are right about that kind of, where do I have it? Right about 48, right about 50 seems to be a good place for that. All right. So I'm feeling pretty good about the patch right now. Got my octaves correct, got my waveform correct, got my detuning to fatten it up. I feel good about where the amp envelope is. Got the filter wide open to get the bright, buzzy sound. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and do the same thing we did for the bass is we're going to throw that scream distortion unit on it and then we'll add some reverb, okay? So let's go here to utilities. Oh, I'm sorry, effects. Here we go. And scream distortion, let's just drag that right in. 
And for this one, I really liked the tube preset. Sounded pretty good with this one. Let's go ahead and check that out. Whoa, okay, we're gonna need to dial that back. So I'm just gonna bring back my channel level here on the mixer. That really helps fatten it up, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and add the reverb. So I'm going to go back to effects here. And I'm going to drag in the uh, RV7000. And now this will, before I do this, let me go ahead and flip my rack to the back because this is really going to make a mess of the patching because Reason wants to auto-patch for you. And sometimes I wish they wouldn't do that, but we'll just repatch it, okay? All right, so uh, Scream auto-patch, they, they did that correct. When they do the reverb, they do it as in... Uh, inline effect. And so we don't want that. We want to send return using the mixer. So let's set that up. So we'll drag the Rev 7000 in. And now I'm just going to disconnect my all my patch cables there. There we go. Okay, let's start over. All right, out of subtractor into the left side of Scream. Out of the left side of Scream, back to left side in channel one, mixer. Good. All right, good there. Right now we're going to come out of the send right here, left side of the send, drag to the left audio input of the Rev 7000, and it automatically makes both your left and right channel connections. Drag out of the left side of the audio output of the Rev 7000 to the return of the aux return there on the mixer, and it automatically makes both connections. Good. Let's tab back to the front. All right. And let's get some reverb going. Make sure our wet dry mix here is all the way wet. All right. We can just go with the standard all, you know, the, just the plate setting that, that comes up stock there will be good enough. And the last thing we'll need to do is we'll need to turn up this auxiliary scent to send the sound of the synth into the reverb. Okay. Leave the return just as it is. So let's go ahead and... There we go. Maybe a little bit much. Now let's close that. All right, let's check our work. Okay. All right, sounding good. Now we can fatten up that riff, and we're going to do so by using the riff doubler. So we're going to essentially do everything we did right here on the next track with the exception of changing the waveform from sawtooth to square wave. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll just use our ears to see what we need to adjust. All right, let's go ahead and close that. And of course, we can go ahead and save our work. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll do that first, okay? And we'll call it last name riff, okay? And there we go. Now, just so you know that we've only just saved subtractor. Um, the settings we have here for Scream and all this patching, that would be saved in the rack and saved in the session. We're just really saving the settings for the patcher. That's what she'll be turning in. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. Get our mix window back out there. Let's go ahead and mute, 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 unmute that. And let's see what we've got. Oh, that's definitely not it. We've got the notes, but we don't have the sound. So let's jump right in and work through the riff doubler. Okay, so spacebar. And we can hear it's in, not in the correct octave, so let's bring that down. Turn on oscillator two. Okay, good. Let's go with the low pass filter, open that up. Now let's come back and change waveform. We don't want to double it with the same waveform. We're going to double this using the square wave. So let's go ahead and... Now it may not sound right at first, but once we blend the two together, it'll really, it'll really sound pretty good. Let's go ahead and do the classic detuning. <clears throat> this time I'm going to detune a little bit more, plus 10 and minus 10. <clears throat> nothing with the mod envelope, nothing with the filter envelope, no LFOs, no velocity changes here. Let's tweak our amplitude envelope. Just a little, a little bit of a raise on the attack to four. Bring that down to about 40. Maybe 30 right there. That was down to about 80 on the previous one, so let's do same here. Okay. All right, looking pretty good. Let's go over here 
to Portamento or Glide and Polyphony. Let's turn this down to one. So just drag on that. Bring that up to. And now you can hear that glide kick in, okay? So we've changed the waveform. Oscillator 2 is on. Filter's wide open. I've tweaked my amp envelope generator. Got my Portamento. Polyphony down to one. Okay. Let's take the next step and add the distortion unit screen. So effects. For this one, again, I like the tube setting. Okay. Ooh, that's going to be a little bit much. Let's bring that back like we did the other one. Okay. All right. Good. And let's go ahead back to effects and we'll drag in the RB7000. And let's go ahead and repatch. It's just great that you can let Pro Tools Transport just keep playing while you're programming. That's so nice with reason. Okay, let's get out of that. Back to there. Oops. I'll put. There we go. I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking there. There we go. All right. Send. Input. Return. And it looks like I already had my aux send turned up here, so. Just bring that back up. All right, let's hear them both together. And now that I've got that, I'm just going to bring these up to match them. I'll put that up to 80. And I'll put this one up to 80 as well. And let's bring in the rest of the track. I can bring back my faders a little bit here. Oops, those aren't matched. There we go. All right. So there we've got it. The classic riff for Ushers. Yeah. Uh, the only thing we'd need to do before we uh, save and quit would be to go ahead and save our subtractor for our uh, riff doubler. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And riff doubler. And there, we're good to go. So the last thing we'll do is save our Pro Tools session before we quit. So just go to Pro Tools and save right there. OK, that'll save all our settings like the Rev 7000 and the screen that are in those reason racks that will make sure that that's saved. Okay, so we've saved. We'll go ahead and quit Pro Tools. There we go. And we'll check the desktop. And there we go. That's the original source folder. So there we are. Make sure all our work is in there. Yep, there are our reason subtractor patches there. There's the source session. Yep, looks good. Of course, we'll be naming it our last name, Lab 5. Okay. So make sure we do that. Matter of fact, let's just do that together, okay? So click on it. And ideally, we should have done this before we even started, but we'll do it now. Okay. Last name, lab five. Okay. Close that. And we'll do that same for the folder here. Last name, oops. Lab five. Good there. Now, if you're working in the EM lab, you'll, of course, just turn in your homework to the class handin server to our class folder. If you're turning it in via D2L to OneDrive, uh, you'll of course have to compress it first. So let's just go ahead and do the second step of compressing it. So right click on the folder, um, compress, and it just compresses that folder. And this is what you would turn in if you're turning it in via OneDrive. And the links to that would be in D2L, okay? So, good to go there. So, that's it. The classic synth riff from Usher's Yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Have fun.